Regional security may have come to stay as the governors of Nigeria's southeast states have resolved to ensure the creation of laws to establish a regional security outfit. And tensions are high right now in Afaruku Abi state as the members of the indigenous people of Biafra group and the police are clashing over the attendance of the burial of the parents of the leader of the group. This is Plus Politics and I am Felicity Ezewike. You're welcome. Very glad you could join us. Now, the regional security seems to be getting popular as governors of Nigeria's southeast states have agreed to ensure the creation of laws to establish its own regional security outfit. Also, the Northern governors and the coalition of Northern groups have still yet not agreed over Operation Shege Kapasa. They go back and forth. Joining me to have a conversation on this is a legal practitioner, Nobel Obasi. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you very much. Well, All right. Please. Governors, they've resolved to get their own regional outfit. Um, when you look at the fact that Amoteku, um, as far as uh, we know, is still very much alive, yes. um, does this confirm to you that indeed, whether we like it or not, restructuring is happening? Oh, well, uh, on the issue of uh, restructuring, so uh, I would imagine that restructuring is basically trying to uh, remove excess power from the central and allocating it to, um, to the regional. And uh, the issue of um, regional security, well, it's, 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 it's uh, indices of uh, restructuring. It's, it's indices of restructuring. But let's not forget that at, the, at this moment, Nigeria is not yet a restructure. So we still draw power from the federal mind. And um, the regional security, well, yes, there is an uh, operation at Moteku, which, um, which uh, gathered dust sometime a few, so few weeks ago, which is still um, in the pipeline. Very much in, in very, Yes, yeah. which, is, which is still in, in the, very much in the pipeline. And um, that, that, not, that being said, uh, he, well, to an extent, uh, restructuring is gathering ground with what is currently happening with the regional security. Yes. Yeah, because you, when you just oppose that with the fact that the federal government is supposed, constitutionally, uh, the federal government has the responsibility to provide, you know, and coordinate the security architecture of the country. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so um, I understand the fact that the federal government is the chief security. Um, the chief security, uh, perhaps the institution of the country. But yes, well, where there is a lacuna, there needs to be something to fill in the void. So right now, uh, it appears that the, power of the, the powers of the federal government in terms of securing life and property in, in Nigeria is not far reaching to, to us, uh, you know, the regional government. And these people are taking, are trying, are taking initiative to, um, to um, you know, block out, to fill in those gaps that uh, uh, where the federal security might not reach. Okay, so the chairman of the not, uh, I mean, Southeast governors, yes. my, the governor of Ebony yes, State, has come, yes, has come up to say that um, the group was not just formed. It's not like we're just hearing about it, okay. but they've been working in the background. Uh, according to him, it was originally uh, the meeting was held in July last year, yes. and they inaugurated a committee in August. Yes. last year. Um, he's also saying that they've written to the federal government to um, get concerning the security outfit. Um, will this, in your opinion, because as it stands now, the Amoteco of the Southwest is generating a lot of controversy, one being the legality of it and where it stays, stands in the law. Will this um, sort of remove the controversy that we currently have with Amoteco that they have informed the presidency? Okay, so let's not forget the fact that uh, the federal government is, uh, has the, uh, the main security um, role of, of, uh, for the country. Let's not forget that. Uh, the fact that um, uh, Governor David Umayi has come to say that the, security, the original security has been in place before and that uh, what we are currently seeing right now, it's, just, uh, it's not something that we you know, just woke up to do. Uh, yeah, I could, I could say those things are um, aftershot of what has been happening. Because if we, if, we, if we recall a few years back, not a few years back, last year, two years ago, three years ago, 
there, there were incidences of um, uh, headsmen, you know, ravaging fa farmland, most especially in, say, in some parts in Enugu State. And I, I would imagine that um, the, gov the governors, or the Southeastern governors, they took that initiative to forestall such occurrences. So that was, uh, that could be the major reason why they, you know, they went into um, a proactive uh, measure to uh, kick in motion the regional uh, security outfit. Also, in, in, in terms of Amotek, let's not forget that um, any regional security right now in Nigeria is illegal. But then, uh, of recent, we had um, the speaker of uh, uh, the national, the speaker of the House of uh, Representatives, saying that. They, that they would send a bill to perhaps harmonize the regional security. So that's, that's, that should tell us that uh, it's, it's, it's not something which... It's not law, yeah. Exactly. That, that, that's, that's what it, that, that's what but it when should you, tell when us. You, when, you about, when you look at it from the conversation of the right to self-defense that you. is guaranteed uh, by the Constitution, I mean, how do you now, you know, relate it to the fact that they're saying... It's illegal. It's not within the law. Shouldn't we protect ourselves? I mean, that's a lacuna which uh, the regional security is trying to exploit. The lacuna of the law. Yeah, because you cannot be in your house and some strangers would, atta uh, would attack you and uh, you'd be defenseless. No, you need to do something. You, need, you have to fight back. So regional security is a measure for uh, most of um, all these states to fight back, you know, terror ravaging their environment. Okay, uh, I want to refer you to uh, a portion of the statement that was given uh, by the chairman, uh, Governor Omai. Um, let me quote a bit of it. He said, at an appropriate time, we shall be inviting the federal government to note the details of our joint security program, end of quote. My question is, does it worry you that although the federal government has been notified that there is an effort to bring up a new security outfit, that they don't have details of what that security outfit is going to be about, considering their role as the, you know, the father of security. Let me use that phrase okay. um, in this uh, country. To be honest with you, uh, most of these regional security um, give me worry. And the reason being that, let's not forget what Boko Haram, how Boko Haram, Boko Haram started. Let's not forget that if you're trying to set up security apparatus, the modalities needs to be need to be clearly defined. So there should be ingress and, and egress. There should be, you know, how you introduce uh, the structure and how you exit from the structure. So you don't just create something without having a foresight about it. Because if you if you do not have a foresight, it will go rogue. It will add more problems to the country. So for the federal government not to have details of what the states are trying to do, I think is worrisome. It is worrisome. Okay, let, let's look at the reception. Uh, though while there is controversy over the Southwest outfit, the one that is being proposed, considering the, the level, both positive and negative reaction, how do you see the reception for this South um, East effort to curb insecurity in the region? Uh, do you see the people embracing it, uh, or is it going to stir up more controversy? I mean, you mean from the part of the people of the South The people, yeah, the people of the South East. I, I, I think they will look at it this way. What source for the goods is source for the Ganda. That's the way they will look at it. So you, you feel that the people will support this move in spite of the fact that, definitely. as at yet, it's not law? Definitely, definitely. Because I don't think any region in Nigeria would want to uh, be, you know, um, a lower region compared to the next region. Because, uh, so, so one of their arguments would be that, oh, the Southwestern, they have Amotek. So why can't we, why shouldn't we have our own security outfit? So, I mean, like I said, all sorts for the goods, it sells for the Ganda. Okay, um, I'm being told we're joined by another legal practitioner via telephone and uh, he will be sharing his thoughts on this uh, latest development with the Southeast security outfit. Thank you very much for joining us. Hello. Hello, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, what's your take about this latest move by the Southeast governors? They want to come up with... Um, a vast, their own version of Amotekun. Can you hear me? Hello, sir. Okay, I guess. Hello. We, oh, can you I'm hear me? I'm having echoes. 
Okay, but can you hear the question that I just asked, sir? Okay, I'm afraid we'll have Hello. To, okay, I'm afraid we'll have to come back to Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but it's echoing. Go ahead. Okay, my question is, uh, the Southeast governors have come up with their own version of Amotec. Well, they are saying that they're going to create a security um, network for the region. What's your take? Is this um, a confirmation, considering that we already have Amotec? Is it, is it a confirmation that restructuring is actually subtly going on? For the country, the forge and the vision of the people of the people who ask indirectly to restructure that deal first. Okay, I'm afraid the, the line is pretty. The line is pretty bad. So we'll have to get back to you in a bit. The line is pretty bad. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Let's hope we can reconnect with him uh, in a bit. But we still have a legal practitioner here, Nabil Obasi. Thank you for staying. So I was we, before we went on the break, uh, you, you actually said yes, that the people will be very receptive. Let's move a little to a quick update on what's happening uh, with Amotekun. Uh, we hear that, uh, which uh, from the Attorney General of Ondo State, that they will be approaching uh, the courts and the IG to request for permission to carry guns. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So now that they're asking that they get, each state are going to request um, from the IG that they should carry guns. Initially, we were told that Amotekun will not, the, pe the people that will be working there will not be carrying arms. Yeah. What do you make of this twist in plot? Okay. You know, I, I said earlier, I said, if you, you know, if you introduce a structure, you should have a proper plan on how you want to run that structure. This is a security out outfit. It's a security organization. We really need to be very careful on how we go about arming individuals, people who are not well trained in handing arms, people who are not even schooled in security matters. Because if, we are, if care is not taken, this, some of these people might go rogue and to become a burden to the society. So the issue of Amoteku going, carrying arms, well, 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 I understand the fact that they want to put, I understand the fact that they might be dealing with um, hostile uh, individuals as well who would perhaps have a sophisticated weapon at their disposal. But then, carrying arms at this stage? <laughs> Okay, oh. let's, let's look at other, um, well, we, now we have the southeast, we have the southwest, and now we have the north. Um, uh, Shege Kapasa yeah. is the latest unveiling um, of a security outfit, but it's also facing challenges. First off, that we know of is that the governors of the northern region have come up to say that they are not aware of uh, such a move to create um, a security outfit. And the group is that came up with that is saying that the governors don't know uh, what they're saying. How will the lack of support from the governors, in your opinion, affect this latest move to create another regional security outfit? Most definitely, lack of government support would uh, militate uh, any action could those people would want to take. Because governors can decide to you know, the government or the Northern State government, they can decide to shut down the security apparatus and they wouldn't do anything. So without their support, they're going nowhere. And the fact that they say they are not aware of that and um, the fact that the security apparatus is going is ongoing in, in, within their you know, vicinity and they are unaware of that, it shows a, shows a, 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 it shows, um, a, 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 a fall. It shows a fall on you know, the ability to perhaps handle their vicinity because they're supposed to be thoroughly engaged with what's happening. So, but then if they say they are not in the know, then they wouldn't get any support. Well, the group is insisting, the CNG, that they are going, um, did I get that right? Uh, yes, the CNG, that they are going to go to court in spite of the governor's position. Okay, so Do you see them getting any headway to how, getting the uh, outfit to become legal? Okay, so, okay, so they are going to court to is it to, to give it force the hands yeah, of to, the government to, to, to... To give it some sort of legality so they okay. can actually operate it. So I'm saying for the Southeast 
we have the governors in support for the southwest we have the governors in support and then you come up not the governors are saying count us out we're not part of this well i would i think i'll just leave the court to do their job so if it gets to the court and they feel yes it's um it's tenable that it should be allowed to survive well enough. Well, in, said, in no. your legal opinion, your background, do you see them being able to get a law, that will, um, a court judgment that will allow them to establish such an outfit? I wouldn't imagine so. Okay. Um, let's take another look at the issues arising from that. Um, he's also um, raising an issue. You know, the Sultan has reacted. The governor, Ganduje, has reacted to the proposed on um, Shege Kapasa. Right? Yes. I, I tend to boss when I call the name <laughs> Shege Kapasa. Um, they're saying that the initiative um, is they don't have their support. Now, the CNG is saying that they will not um, tolerate the behaviors of the governors okay. and that the behavior of Ganduje and the Sultan indicates that there is a disconnect mm -hmm. between the elite and the people that are being ruled. Do they have some, you know, point here when they say there is a disconnect because they are saying on the one hand that the people welcome the initiative the Shege Kapasa because they are groaning in pain of insecurity and fear and all of that so if you just oppose that with the position of the Sultan they are saying this is there any atom of truth in this do you think they may have a point uh, well I think the people might uh have a point, you know, to prove uh, as regards uh, their uh, well-being, their security well-being within the state. That there's a disconnect between the sultan, the le the elite, basically, it, and yes. the people. Yes, I mean, it's, it's, it's so obvious. Because if the governor of a state says he doesn't know that a security outfit that's currently operating in the state doesn't exist, then it shows a disconnect, you know, between that society and the government. But like I said earlier on, it's very difficult for those security outfits to get the support of the government. And the way I see it is, I think it's dead on arrival because the government could just issue um, a, uh, perhaps they issue an order, you know, for them to, to be shut down. And that would be the end of it. Just before we round up this uh, session of uh, the conversation, I want to ask you uh, the latest information from the uh, governor of Ekiti State, um, Fire Me. Um, he is saying that the law, that will, the bill that will make uh, Amoteku law will be signed on February the 14th. Now, my question is, it's supposed to be ratified by the state, six states' houses of assembly. Will this be done before that date? Do you share in this optimism that the governors will sign it into law? Okay, so for, so uh, the question should be, is the fire me acting in consonance with other governors? Good question. Yeah, so if he's acting in consonance with other governors, then that might give it a, a, a bit of legality. But let's not forget the other legal hurdle, which is uh, the federal might. You know, whether they recognize uh, the states, um, the, uh, you know, the regional security or not. Uh, yes, you know, um, so a uh, few days back, uh, uh, Speaker, uh, the is right honorable, uh, yes, the, the, the uh, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable uh, Femi Bajabia Mila, you know, said, said he, that there was going to, uh, that, that the House was going to propose a bill, you know, to harmonize and regularize uh, um, the Amotec. So we have to ask if they cross this regional hurdle, regional legal hurdle, how about the federal legal hurdle? So if, we, if those two boxes are ticked in the affirmative, then it's fine. But well, do you see that happening between now and February 14? That's next week. Yes, that's next week, Friday. Is it possible? I mean, he's a state governor, so I don't, I don't think it's something he cannot do. But to get the other governors to be on the same, uh, same seat with him to, to, to ratify uh, that security outfit, that I wouldn't know, but I think it's feasible. Okay, well, what do you make of his uh, comments about uh, concerns that is being put forward that the outfit is targeted at a certain ethnic group and he's coming to dispel that it is for everyone in the region do you share any skepticism as to who this um, oppression is for okay so i'll be solution-minded in, in in answering this question so yeah we totally understand that operation motorcycle is for the southwest so to allay the the fears of uh, the security outfit being targeted as a 
a particular ethnic group, I think they should employ all Nigerians into the system. All right, I guess that's where we have to leave it for now. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on the program. My pleasure, Felicity. All right, and thank you for staying with us thus far. We'll go on a short break, and when we return, the upcoming burial of the parents of the leader of IPOB is causing issues in Abia State. That's up for discussion. <laughs>